What's up, family? Boy, I got a sucker story for y'all today. We got a cop out of Mississippi who is suing R. Kelly for allegedly banging his wife and passing on an STD to her. Goes like this, y'all. A Mississippi sheriff's deputy is suing singer R. Kelly, alleging that Kelly had a years-long affair with his wife that broke up his marriage. Deputy Kenneth Bryan, who married Asia Childress in Mississippi in 2012, filed the suit last week in a county circuit court in Jackson, the state capital. He's seeking unspecified damages. Bryant's lawsuit includes images of Texas, he says, Childress and Kelly exchanged. Representatives of the Rhythm and Blues crooner, whose full name is Robert Sylvester Kelly, didn't immediately return requests for comment Thursday. Kelly hasn't yet responded to the suit. Anna Powell's, a lawyer for Bryant, said Kelly was served with the suit Saturday when he performed in Jackson. Powell said Bryant, before marrying Childress, knew she previously had a relationship with Kelly. That was water under the bridge, over and done, Powell said. Our client loved his wife, wanted to work out the relationship. But the lawsuit says Childress reconnected with Kelly after attending one of his concerts in October 2012, leading to multiple liaisons over more than four years. At one point in their marriage, according to Brian, Childress persuaded him to move to Atlanta area, claiming it would improve her career. Brian said he sacrificed a good job, but that his wife really wanted to be closer to Kelly to pursue the affair. Kelly, 50, once lived in Atlanta part-time. Each time R. Kelly would have a concert in a nearby state, Childress would disappear to unite with her lover, the lawsuit states. Time after time, R. Kelly cuckled at Brian with blatant disregard for Brian's and Childress's vows. Powell said that Childress has asked for a divorce, but none has been filed. Childress is a licensed public school teacher in Mississippi, but it's unclear where she lives now, and she could not be reached for comment. Mississippi is one of only a handful of states that allow spouses to sue others for breaking up their marriages in what's called alienation of affection lawsuits. The others are Hawaii, North Carolina, South Dakota, and Utah. R. Kelly's wanton and reckless interference with plaintiff's marriage relationship, his blatant disregard for family values, and his uncondoned and relentless adulterous relationship with plaintiff's wife was accompanied by R. Kelly's enticement of children to ignore her marriage, the suit states. Where the hell do I start with this, man? Let's start with the husband first and foremost. Dude, you got to be one of the biggest suckers on the planet. Let me tell you something. If you, you knew she had a relationship with R. Kelly, man worth millions and stacks on stacks of millions of dollars, you ought to know at any point he could make that call and tap that ass. That's a fact, Jack. How could you not know? And let's get right down to the skinny, the nitty gritty, what everybody is thinking. Why in the hell are you suing R. Kelly? You should be suing your wife. She's the one made you give up your job and gave you the promised land who sold you on the promised land. She the one caused your financial distress. She's the one that made the vows that she would be faithful and she'd do all this stuff. So why in the hell are you suing R. Kelly? She's the one that slept around on you. Not R. Kelly. It's the old saying, man. I'm sure you've heard it a couple of times. You probably never said it because you was a sucker. I'm talking to you, Kenneth Bryant. It's an old saying. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't check the player, check the hoe. And that goes straight across the board. This is for men and women. 
It doesn't matter if you're in a situation where your significant other steps out on you with somebody else. You're not supposed to go crazy on the person they're stepping out with, unless, of course, it's one of your close friends or a family member or something like that. Somebody you had that you thought had your back that should have some type of degree of loyalty to you. But we're talking about another dude. You don't know what she's telling R. Kelly. She could have told R. Kelly she was divorced. <clears throat> and how in the hell do you know that R. Kelly is the one who gave her the sexually transmitted disease? How do you know? If your woman is sleeping around with R. Kelly, she probably was sleeping around with somebody else too. You think she stopped? She really just stopped that R. Kelly? You mean you thinking that for four years, you got a woman that cheats. And you thinking that she cheated with R. Kelly exclusively for four years, four plus years? Come on, dog. Come on, man. How dumb can you be? As a man, sometimes you just got to take the L. Sometimes. You got to just let it go, man. Just let it go. It's going to be all right. How you trying to come up off another man after you get crushed in the game? Look, this is the risk that all of us take in the game of love. It's a chance if you get into a relationship with anybody, you just might get your heart broken. These relationships are 50-50. And the odds of everything turning out like you want them to turn out can be even greater if you're not equally yoked. How many times do I got to tell you this? Who the hell raised you, boy? What's your daddy name? Was your daddy even in the picture when you was growing up? Because something is wrong with you up here. Something is wrong with you. Somebody didn't give you that lesson. Somebody didn't talk to you. You need a daddy, boy. And a lot of you other suckers out there need daddies too. Because y'all asses got the game all turned around. Everything, just like everything else that's going on around here. Y'all got shit all backwards. Got the whole game turned all the way around. What kind of sucker shit is that to sue a man for banging your wife? Man, take the L and walk away. That's how it goes. Have a bit of pride and dignity. I mean, for yourself, man, have some kind of pride. Man, I, I would never consider some silly shit like that. I got way too much pride. Why, I, way too much dignity. I wouldn't even let her know she, she affected me like that. Something is wrong with you. You running around here trying to sue some damn body. You need to, your ass need to be put in a mental institution. Get your head checked. I would not be nowhere around, want to be nowhere around you if I was one of your co-workers or homies or something. Because something wrong with your ass. You're going to sue another man for banging your wife. Sue the wife. How, how, again, how do you know R. Kelly gave your wife a VD, a VD? How do you know it was him? Could have been anybody. The husband is a cuckold. <laughs> he knew what he had before he married her. He knew what kind of woman he had, guaranteed. I guarantee you he knew what kind of woman that woman was. I guarantee you he knew how much she cared about R. Kelly. Now, the same thing can't be said about what R. Kelly's true feelings were about her. I don't know. You know, y'all seen the pictures? Tell me something. Sue the wife. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. And I, that's another thing too, man. Boy, that for an old girl to want to relocate, <laughs> assuming it's true, for her to want to relocate, Boy, 
R. Kelly must have been putting that mule in her real deep. That must have been some good mule for her to, to relocate to want to get all the way out of Mississippi to move from Mississippi to Georgia. I mean, to just jump states, <laughs> not jump cities, <laughs> to jump states. Must have been some real good action. Say, man, get control of your woman, man. Get control of your woman. Stop Stop all this madness. And the rest of y'all, man, stop trying to fight the dude. You don't know what this woman telling this dude. She, she could be telling him, you a mad man, you crazy, you beating on her. She ain't with you no more. Y'all not married, you going through a divorce. You don't know what she's saying to the next man. You don't know what, you don't know what your husband's saying to the next woman. He could be telling her anything. You crazy. He don't want you anymore. You, you know, blaming you for everything. Saying you spend too much. You shop too much. And he could be telling her anything about you. You don't know what she, he's telling the next woman. Stop trying to fight these women and bust their windows out of their cars and all this stuff. Trying to jump. Them. You, I'm telling you. Women look crazy. Women look stupid when they fight other women over men. And men, damn, men look stupid as hell too. All y'all, take some classes in some damn relationship resolution. That's There you go. Take some classes in relationship re resolution. In fact, I think I may start holding some classes. I may start teaching classes on relationship conflict resolution. Yeah, I might start doing that. But I'm going to send this last message, this little last piece of message out to uh, Kenneth Bryan. Deputy Kenneth Bryan, you need to get an evaluation. I'm telling you, man, you need to get your head checked immediately because you a fucking sucker. You a sucker if I ever heard of one. Suing another man for banging your wife. That's some sucker shit. If I was Charlemagne the God, I'd give your ass donkey the other day. Yo, if you like the videos that I bring to y'all, y'all make sure y'all go and support the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. You dig what I'm saying? No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.